Please select the desired procedure. All right. I'm gonna gather some more stuff for that rail gun. Charles, what did you just turn on? A temporary malfunction, Major. I am now operating within normal parameters. Oh, you're a tough nut to crack. Oh, I can't even soften you up. Sechenov says, sick him! Debug and mode initiated. Please enter a command. I'll try to reach you one last time. Release your face in the fifth position. Use the right Arms side in the third of your position. brain. Done already? Oh my, you're talented. Let's a new try a different one. Do you want to see the same scenes repeated Passe. all around us? Or would you rather choose clear okay, sky, that's enough. carefree birdsong, and all the comforts of home? Unless you want to hear the heavy footfalls of the robot army marching against mankind, stand down. <laughs> 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 was that Charles I don't know what you mean comrade major the chirper you found is broken and silent Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Yeah, Charles, do me a favor and give the lady a command, would you? I... I don't know what she wants. First arabesque. That's enough of that. Deep 
Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Yeah, Charles, do me a favor and give the lady a command, would you? Hey, you I, know it. I don't know what she wants. Relevé in the fifth position. If I say, arms upright and loose in an allongé. That's enough of that. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Yeah, Charles, do me a favor and give the lady a command, would you? I... I don't know what she wants. Attitude? Try another one. Releve on the toes. Croce in the fourth position. Big arms in an allongé. That's enough of that. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Uh, I don't really get this stuff. Want to give it a whirl, Charles? First arabesque. Okay, that's enough. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Uh, I don't really get this stuff. Want to give it a whirl, Charles? Croissé in the fifth position, arms in the third position. Okay, that's enough. Ballerina's training is proceeding magnificently. We just need to show them the proper ballet positions. It's a shame they aren't connected to the primary neural network. Just imagine what we could teach them. And most importantly, no polymer injections whatsoever. Truly fantastical women. Just say the name of the position and that's it. And it doesn't have to be a ballet position either. Okay, hold on a second.
All right, I am back. Have a joint. Sorry guys, I'm smoking a joint. Oh, come on. Go out, you stupid thing. There we go. Ah. I think I have one more. I do. I have one more blue dream. Come on, there we go. <clears throat> ah, shit. Knocking shit over. That ain't good. Sorry, guys. Here I am, like, I want to get out of these bottles and play some Atomic Heart. I ain't delivering all my promises. Alright, gotta get some drink in me. Oh, yeah. Whew. That's good shit.
Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Nice ass. Mm -hmm, Charles, I'm kinda out of my depth here. Relevé in the fingers. Anything else worth checking out? Quasse in the fourth position. Anything else worth checking out? Batemont tendu arms free. Anything else worth checking out? Attitude. With sunsets raging crimson. Now comes the dark. Sechno thinks he can control all of Collective, but he can't. No one can control a power like this. Tell me, P3. Why do you assume that these robots kill? For no reason? Because I'm evil incarnate and I programmed them that way? <sighs> Think again. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. This is your time to shine, Charles. You're a smart-ass machine, right? Well, we got some smart-ass commands for you to figure out. First arabesque. Try again. Give her a command. Hello, King James. Ecarte with the right leg. Try again. So Give her a command. A la seconde. Arms free. Sometimes you think you're gaining on your nemesis, and he'll be within your grasp soon enough. And then everything will be happiness. Smiles and rainbows. You have no idea how insidious your real enemy is. And not even Sechenov truly understands it. What you're all really going to end up with is emptiness, powerlessness, and a mushroom cloud. And the uncomfortable feeling that you've been had. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Yeah, Charles, do me a favor and give the lady a command, would you? I... I don't know what she wants. First arabesque. Try another one. Releve on the toes. Passe in the fourth position. Big arms in an allongé. Yeah, no kidding, right? I tried doing ballet when I took uh, dance in high school. That shit is hard, yo. You have to be really flexible. This is a really strange puzzle. Try another one. So I'm wondering if I'm trying to find a move that best matches the death? Or something that like... Ugh. This is a strange one. Attitude? Try another one. Releve in the fifth position. FSA. Arms upright and loose oh. in an allongate. Open your eyes and see the truth, dog. Why can't you see it the works. obvious? Collective will be the death of us all. Sechnov is nothing but a self-indulgent fool. Uh -huh. Fine. You win. The time has come. 
I'll open the final door. This was supposed to be a real show. And now no one will ever see it except a stray dog. Yeah, Charles, why is that head case whining about how Collective is gonna kill us all? I can't stop thinking about it. Could Collective really be dangerous? Of course not. Collective cannot be dangerous. That's all there is to it. Only its owner can be dangerous. Why all this art and murder? What's that little weasel up to? I have run a diagnostic on your body. My access to certain internal components is blocked. Hypothetically, Petrov could be attempting to interact mm -hmm. with these components <laughs> yeah. in order to influence you. Like you, he is in a state of extreme psychological tension. What internal components? There are blank areas concealed from my diagnostic algorithms. They could be polymer cavities caused by repeated use of the glove's abilities. Or they could be bullet wounds in your head. My head? Are you glitching out or something? Whatever. Enough about this. Authorization. Major Nichayev. Major. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access grant.
Please select the desired... Access granted. You won't fool me again. You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over! There you are. Always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa. She... she dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's... What about Molotov? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Dude, you crazy. Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate, and that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. I had no idea what Sechnov was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You no, really, my so you sweet supper child. Because you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any? To write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Combat mode was programmed into them during the initial design phase. And sure, no one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union, and that was totally on me. <laughs> but I can assure you that Sechnov's plans are far. This is like Hitler versus Stalin, people. <laughs> They're all despicable people. You're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode. <laughs> Sorry, that's not gonna happen. Hell it will. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was supposed to be I said a stop. special day for us. <sighs> Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa. That Trav, you madman. Oh, dude! Oh! The fuck, Petrov? You insane man. 
Oh, these psycho robots. Jesus. This is gonna... This is gonna... Whoa. Fuck me, you clown. Well, you definitely dead this time. Shit. P3 to Chilame. Come in, Chilame. Finally. Do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way, and I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, P3. I'll send you a special container. Jesus. Put it inside, and the rest will be done automatically. Oh, my Wrong. Lord. Wrong. And self. Jesus. This is crazy. Oh, great. So, I... Where are my guns? There we go. Petrov's body, my boy. Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. Up. Ooh, another tape. And then, believe it or not, he says to me, in the grand finale, we're going to put this big old beauty on stage. I mean, what the fuck? It's an old model and it's hard to program. So I'm thinking we should, this is my show, and I'll decide what we should and should not do. You, comrade, are a programmer. So either do your job with a smile on your face or get the hell out of my theater. Comrade Lastrochkin, I completely understand. I was merely offering a suggestion. I don't suppose you'd like something a little heavier? Oh, now you're speaking my language. What have you got for me? Oh, it'll be truly spectacular. You'll love it. Hey, you. Yes, you with the dumb face. Get over here. 
What did you just say? Oh, my. Do you really not understand plain human speech? All right, never mind. Just drag my body to the entrance. When the rescue workers arrive, I want them to find me first. My magnificent body will grace the first pages of newspapers everywhere, not just in the Soviet Union. Come on, dummy, don't just stand there like a debutante. The theater director commands you. Ah, so you're the one who turned this place into a whorehouse. Oh, so you're another bullheaded prude. I gave people what they want and deserve. Everything can be bought and sold, and every person's soul comes with a price tag attached. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you slimy little bitch. <gasps> you don't say. Uh, but he ain't wrong, though. Oh, fuck. A delightful if plebeian expression. Remember, boy, puffing your chest and showing off character does not mean you're actually in possession of said character. Come on, do what you're told already. You are a lackey of section offs. You should be used to being bossed about. I lost my interest in talking to you. <laughs> Shit. Wait. Oh, no, bitch. Yes, We're not done talking. Face. Get over here. Who died and made you king? Manners. I am Stefan Lustoshkin, the artistic director of the Maya Princess. Good thing you're Theater. dead. You're a little Jesus bitch. All of splendor here. All right, never mind. But sometimes a little bitch will spout truth entrance. every the once in a while. Alive. I want them to find me first. My magnificent body will grace the first pages of newspapers everywhere, not just in the Spoken Soviet like a true Come commie. On, Don't just stand there like a debutante. The theater director Spoken like a you. true commie, useful idiot. Looks like Petrov was the one who put on the most modern yeah. performance here. Not you. Oh, please, spare my sight. Who is Petrov? A waste of skin that went berserk and pushed the right button? No, it was my genius that nurtured this theater. I molded its backstage. But then again, why am I arguing with a cultural pygmy? Come on, pick me up already! You're fucking demanding for a dead man, you know that? <gasps> you don't say. Yeah. Are you <laughs> showing your teeth? Oh, what a delightful, if plebeian expression. Remember, boy, puffing your chest and showing off character does not mean you're actually in possession of said character. Come on, do what you're told already. You are a lackey of section offs. You should be used to being bossed about. I lost my interest in talking to you. Good thing you're dead. You're a bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fucking teabag your body. Cause you're a little fucking Karen ass bitch. Dear God. Yeah, you deserved every fucking whatever happened to you. Fuck you. Another tape. What kind of secrets we got? This is our first session. I'm recording with the chirper for your file, Victor. So tell me about yourself. What kind of person are you? Hmm. Well, I'm an upstanding citizen of the Soviet Union and a hardworking member of our society. Uh, I live for science, and I have two passions that he are very important science. to me. He lives for science. Love and robots. Am I a good person? Yes, absolutely. your current status, Comrade Major. I'm detecting a loss of focus and an intense surge of emotion. My status? I'm losing my fucking shit. That's my goddamn status. I failed my mission again. Victor's dead, and I've got his head in a damn jar, and Sechenov thinks that's all fine and fucking dandy, get it? No, Comrade Major. I've done a lot of shit in my day, okay? But I've never lugged a human head around as a trophy. <laughs> Did you see that gigantic robot in the theater? There was a combat. 
robot in the theater, Charles. But you know what really grinds my gears? No, correctly. <laughs> the rings. The motherfucking rings that asshole Petrov gave me. And you know why it grinds my gears? No, comrade major. Me neither. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> Whatever. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. We're headed to Pavlov. Got any ideas? Pavlov is a secret complex located in a remote part of facility 3826 called Sahalin. It would be quite difficult to get there on foot given the large number of enemies. I suggest taking a vehicle. And, Comrade Major, this would also be an excellent time to enhance your arsenal. Uh, as much yes, as possible. indeed. Searching for other testing grounds ah. is highly recommended. Enough complaining. Let's move. There, there, Major. Whatever you say. Please select the desired procedure. Do I have any more? I do. I do have more rockets. Yeah, especially when I get those plates. Sorry, guys. Ooh. Okay. Sip of tea. God, this game is fucking insane. This game is seriously fucking insane. I love it. I fucking love it. Oh, one of these doors. show thank you please come again come back soon we're expecting an amazing new batch of robots for your entertainment the next shell will be even more interesting please come back here for a sequel i see you enjoy um, the show so much please. this is free could be out why do i have a, are they gonna oh the shit are they gonna come to life don't forget the snack bar Please proceed to the bar. Did you leave oh, the thing in the not good. check room? Please proceed into the restroom. Um, leave this place! Yeah, leave this place. That's a good idea. It's a good idea. Yes, I, I like I like the I like your idea a lot. I wanna get the fuck out of here. This, this place is Major fucking B3, nightmare. I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. 
You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with better one and better two engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. Failing data. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. <laughs> I've def definitely had better days, but yeah. I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me. Even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. And why is that? Because Petrov was a pussy. He was a programmer, not a fighter. But these robots know how to fight. He couldn't have programmed them because he doesn't know the first thing about combat. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where'd it get him, huh? It's a construction robot. The Trov couldn't have armed it with missile launchers. Ah, fuck. How did I die? Huh? That's weird. I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with better one and better two engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah. I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. And you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. <clears throat> by the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zena. The enemy has raised its alert level to maximum, Major. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even collective after the launch. Especially not collective after the launch. For collective, anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside, since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I believe so, yes. You believe so? So you're not sure? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. <clears throat> it's worn on the head, not implanted in the skull. That's good, I guess.
Oh shit! Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. And now... You have my sincerest mm -hmm. condolences for all that has <laughs> yeah. transpired, Comrade Major. Welcome to the Soviet Union. Everybody's out to get themselves. That's why I say communism will never work, because it's human nature, yo. You prick!
turning off this crap again. I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Vlatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on the top's body, did you? Two rings? Better one and better two from Greg from the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah. I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me. Even Dr. Sechinov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. And why is that? Because Petrov was a pussy. He was a programmer, not a fighter. But these robots know how to fight. He couldn't have programmed them because he doesn't know the first thing about combat. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where'd it get him, huh? It's a construction robot. Petrov couldn't have armed it with missile launchers. He's not an engineer. He couldn't have hacked into the robot plant and started changing shit around. He fooled the central hub and made it think innocent people were an invading army. That's it. So why would a construction bot have built-in missile launchers, huh? Why would a civilian drove have a damn railgun? Or an owl a machine gun? The signs are everywhere. Just like you said different perspectives. Unfortunately, after analyzing your logic, I am forced to draw the same conclusion. Especially since your suspicions are more justified than you know. What do you mean? Exactly that. Listen to this recording. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. To my profound chagrin, I failed to pay sufficient attention to the phrase, robots can be switched to combat mode. I took it as a colorful expression Molotov used to cast dispersions upon Dr. Sechenov. But it's clear that Molotov was speaking literally. The Politburo knew from the very beginning that Soviet civilian robots had a combat mode. The Atomic Heart Project. Petrov wasn't lying. Sechenov and the Politburo want to conquer the U.S. and the entire world. So what are you going to do now? Think. Mm -hmm. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even collective after the launch. Especially not collective after the launch. For collective, anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside, since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? 
they can just take their thought device off, right? I believe so, yes. You believe so? So you're not sure? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head, not implanted in the skull. That's good, I guess. What's up with that? Wonder why it won't allow me to come in here. the man Just what I needed. Access granted. Please select the desired procedure.
off that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement with that. Again. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. And now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. Oh, not this guy. Ooh, getting the fuck out of here. you even come from?
Oh, not this crap again. Almost got him. You're dead, motherfucker. Oh, bye bye. Yeah, Robaco, boom. Jesus Christ, this is that was insane. Like, get better, give me a lot of shit for that. I'm gonna collect all this shit. Это прекрасно. И все-таки вас не удивляет, что мы поставляем им нашу передовую технику практически без возмездия. Разве в мире капитала не принято за все платить? Уверяю вас, моя дорогая, они заплатят. Вы просто не видите те, как уже сейчас западные предприниматели проводят массовые увольнения, предпочитая живые. Воу! Ха-ха! Упси! С одной стороны, это уже. Can I run him over? We shall see. Mm. We're gonna go full retard here, folks. Oh, yeah, we went full retard, folks.
looking at? That's some fun shit. God, I love this game. Two chests, cool. Down here. This looks like I'm going the right way. Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of collective, how can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human. But you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive... Oh no, we got another one of these fuckers. Shit. It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in Collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's got to be more to it than that. That's it, you're fucked. Holy shit! Oh my god. Get me to a fucking save spot already. Holy shit! Yo, this is fucking insane. Oh my god. Do 
U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? They suspect something. The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our city bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists mm -hmm. want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. We're all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collecting launches. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible when they activate combat mode. That'll make it that much easier to take over the country. I gotta admit, it makes sense. Ah, get off, bitch! Gotcha, bitch. Fuck you. I'm surprised that a melee weapon worked really well on that bastard. Everything's fine. Take it easy now. The bosses know what they're doing. Demon, I haven't even been here a week yet, and I've already seen enough corpses for a lifetime. I thought this place was going to be a regular clinic. I had no idea it was like this. <laughs> Didn't the fact that this place is a secret complex tip you off? You're a little green to be a guard, especially at a hospital. Listen, we're not butchers like those scientists. We're not here to kill people. We just make sure no one runs off. It's fine, really. This is regularly scheduled whining. Claudia, my treasure, I understand, but more and more patients are coming from Pavlov every day. There are so many of them, I'm just one man. My team of buffoons don't count. They're worthless as doctors. Let's do this. I'll take the most interesting cases and hopefully Collective 2.0 can treat the rest of them. Go for it, Claudia. intellect flinches in horror and doesn't want to deal with them. Autopsies have been showing more and more brutal torture. There are more of these people every day. At this rate, Collective 2.0 won't have won't have anyone to enlighten. All that's left will be flabby, freakish corpses, just the kind you love, my treasure. Figure out what we're going to do about this since you're the head physician in the meantime. I'll go back to my patients since I'm a brilliant diagnostician. I can't read. Jesus fucking Christ, this is insane shit, yo. 
Mm. Oh, I need a drink. <clears throat> God damn, I am digging the fuck out of this game. Wow. I hope you're all enjoying it too, because I know I am. I need a new fucking lighter. Jesus. Man, this game is just really atmospheric. I need to get down to that one facility so I could find the one blueprint. Because I'm sure I want to get the other plate for that, um, my little buzzsaw mace, I like to call it. I don't know what the Russian word for it is. But one of these polygon facilities, I think that's what they're called, has a second disc for that thing. And I want to find it. I must have it. We wants it. We needs it. You know, come on, go out. Oh my god, I just saw Jesse posted on Twitter the fucking Henry Cavill as Captain Price. Yo, dude, that'd be fucking awesome. Sign me the fuck up for that shit, yo. Sorry guys, I'm just kind of getting some shit configured over here. Oh my god, the fucking combat in this game is like something else. Like, holy shit. Alright. This is just insane. Anyway. Let's get back to this, shall we?
assist. Saharov didn't die, comrade. Saharov lives. What? Who are you? What are you talking about? I am an assistant professor from AOC. It matters not. Saharov lives. Yeah, Zaharov? who the fuck is Zaharov? Is Dr. Sechenov's closest supporter. A man whose genius may surpass Sechenov himself. It was believed Zaharov perished a few years ago in an unfortunate accident. But he did not. I studied the documents, and all of the most revolutionary papers show signs of his involvement. His personal touch, if you like. I worked with him personally and knew his attitude well. Caustic comments, radical methods, unmitigated interruptions. He is most definitely alive. But one question remains. If he is alive and still working, why would somebody hide it? Eh, sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Right now it's hard to tell who's alive and who isn't. Alright, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back, guys. All right, I'm back. Wait, is that true that they're working on a Call of Duty movie? Or is this like dream casting? Because I see Henry Cavill as Captain Price. Like, holy shit, that's fucking awesome. Like, I fucking need. Because... You know, as somebody who's like, I mean, I will admit, I am brand new to the Call of Duty franchise. And from a normie perspective, I can understand why the franchise is as is, is popular as it is. There's just so much potential for, like, some interesting lore that could be explored and shit like that. Like, you know, it's just a matter of tweaking, like, the stories and stuff like that because these operators have such fucking personality. I mean, like, you got Captain Price, and then you got Ghost, and then you got Soap McTavish, which, haha, <laughs> hey, he's got to be my favorite for uh, obvious reasons, in case anyone knows me. But, holy shit. I mean, now, there's, there's a game franchise right there that I wouldn't object to, like, a cinematic universe in the literal sense, you know. That'd be interesting to see who they would get for, like, Soap or Ghost. Because I don't think Ghost has ever really showed his face. Damn it, I've got so many questions. Now, nah. <laughs> Damn it, Jesse, you just had to open up a can of worms on, like, this Call of Duty stuff. 
I can't believe I just badged to kill that fucking Pliyush with a fucking melee weapon. Note to self. I can't necessarily go out there. Where am I going? Find the entrance to the Pavlov complex. You know what? Can I access the map from here? Oh, good. I oh, I can. So it's right behind me. I need to get to that complex. Who are you? Autolysis Ooh. starts approximately 7 to 10 minutes after death, followed by defecation in 3 to 5 minutes. Rigor mortis sets in 5 to 6 hours, then let me see, complete decomposition in about 5 years. What are you doing? I'm counting. Counting. Everything has okay. to be calculated. Weird. Decision matters. Observation in weird. detail is the key to success. I am a scientist. I must spend every moment examining and cataloging nature's phenomena. Comrade, do you know many people capable of documenting the decomposition of their own body? I, I'm sorry, what? How would you document the decomposition of your own body? You know, I mean, I, I understand there's the polymer could make you, like, see shit before you really die. Kind of like, you know, I don't know. This is just some fucking crazy ass shit. At this point, you can't even record your own ops. I'm going to be watching, like, a shit ton of lore videos on this guy. There's just so many rabbit holes. So many fucking rabbit holes. Yeah, What's how do we you can't even record your yes, observations? Exactly. What? Like it doesn't Oh matter. shit. You have a point. Uh, so yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You stay next to me over the entire period of decomposition and keep track of the progress. Oh my god, commies are night. fucking hilarious. My body is decomposing, yo, but I think I can still record this. Condition. Bitch, you're Fine. dead. I'll go get I'll... my notepad. Oh, cut off or cough. You made me lose my concentration. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't. This is suck. This is like fucking insane shit. Oh, this is insane shit. My mind is just getting blown. I gotta leave here. Bitch, you're cut in half. I gotta find that, um... Alright, so I'm at the infirmary, but where am I, though? So I want to get to that. Okay, this is one downside that I would like to see Munfish addresses. Like, I'd like to be able to mark on the map, like, where the place... Yeah, because... Like, I want to go down here. But it'd be nice if I could mark it on the map and then I could see it on the map. I don't know, it'd just make things easier. Uh, just a thought, Munfish. It's, it's a little bit of convenience, you know. I mean, because... I guess I could just relive the nostalgia of just pulling up my map and looking to see to make sure I went in the right direction, but... Being able to see it on the map would be really cool, you know?
Yeah, see, like, it's hard to tell where I am on the map. Like, am I down? Like, am I close to the testing facility? I'd like to get in. I can't get down that way? Well, that's bullshit. Can I grab whatever that is? Thank you. 
Finally, whew. Darling, you finally murdered that sleazy scumbag. Huh, the sick bastard killed himself. Oh, admit it. You were toying with him. You could have shot him in his leg or paralyzed him with the shock. I gave you excellent weapons. What? No. He set the whole goddamn circus up in advance. Oh, don't you worry, sugar. I won't tell anyone. I belong only to you, so nobody will know you made Petrov perish by his own hand. Oh, I'll treat this as your wedding gift, big guy. One more word Jesus and I swear Christ. I'll be the living crap out of you. Fucking horny bot. The same. I mean, P3 is hot as fuck, so I guess I can understand the bit, the bot like bitch here. Toy. I gave you the best of my life, and you treat me like a soulless machine. Jesus. Fuck you. Who the fuck do you think you are, then? I'm your special woman. Loyal to you alone, sweetheart. Then be special and loyal with your trap shut. I don't have time for your shit right now. <laughs> Damn, that's fucking crazy. Can I... <gasps> Come to mama. Yes. We will create that. There it is, the holiness. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. Oh, beautiful. Yes, now we're playing with power, y'all. Holy shit. This is awesome. This is awesome. I got a fucking rail gun, yo. Oh my god. Look at all that space, too. Yo, this is gonna be lit. That's what I need, yo. Of course, I'm probably nowhere near that.
Okay. There's a bug that needs to be fixed, yo. worth a try. way inside there? Why does it seem like as if it's that's a way up there? It's kind of annoying. They have to tempt me with precious, precious loot.
All right, this one. This be up here. So <laughs> Usually, if these things are highlighted in red, that means or yellow, that means you can hop on them. There we go. Uh-huh. Just got here. Seek and ye shall find. Ooh, what's this? Ah, aha. Gotta find a camera, I think, to hack into. Right? How else would that be there? Oh, here we go. Got it. Ah, that uncovers the, uh, That unlocks the testing facility. I see. Interesting. Okay. So now, time to get in there. I could use some Neuromed! Oh, isn't that cute? I don't know why I thought that was cute. So now, gotta go down there. Now to get to the entrance to that place. I am going the right way, right? I think so.
Can't believe I finally got a real gun. Why does it seem like this is a place you can go down? Whatever. Did it pulverize it?
Oh, have fun with that. Oh shit, what's in here? Got any shit in here? Nah, nah. Um, I'm getting the fuck out. I don't actively want to engage and end up losing all my shit. Because that would be bad. the fuck is that place? Back at the infirmary, but where's the... Shit. Like, I need to get down there somehow. Oh. this shit up here? Like, I really hope I'm going the right way. That's all I can say. supposed to go down this way? I hope I'm supposed to go down this way, because... Wait, seriously? That's fucked up. So... For your own safety, they're having you remove something, even though that's supposed to be for your own... Oh, Jesus. Nothing makes sense anymore. Jesus Christ. That is fucking insane. Okay, I think I'm going the right way. I better be going the right way. Ooh. Wait. Oh, yeah, because I don't think this was open before. Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh, I, oh, true that. Ooh, Hawk Maintenance. Oh, I like that. What is this? Circuits become overloaded, causing it to explode. Once a hot glue's energy supply fails to the falls to the ground, the entire ecosystem in the area is deactivated. Oh, good. Chiller quickly summoned to repair the wind. But the repairs take some time. I guess 
so I did what I had to do. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I think I'm close there, right? Can't even tell where on the fucking map I am. Ooh, what's this? Ah, haha. Uh -huh. I think we found it. Access granted. Got so much shit. This is crazy, yo. That shit. almost maxed out. <laughs> oh, no upgrades on this? That kind of sucks. Okay, we're inside. Let's search the testing ground and get the hell out of here. We need to deliver Petrov's head. Petrov, ASAP. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled. Comrade. Yes, his head. It's okay to There's say more it. more to Sahlin than meets the eye. We can deal with that. The other places weren't exactly a walk in the park, you know. Hear this, yo. We got fucking cartoons sometimes on this TV. I love this fucking game. Don't need to upgrade as of this moment. Oh, uh, yeah, it's one of these places.
the fuck is going on over here? Oh my. Oh my. Kinky. I still don't want to know what's going on over here. Oh, whatevs. <laughs> this is quite eerie. That's what pervs do. Yeah, pretty much. You bastards. Holy shit!
believe I'm actually doing this. Damn, that was nuts. Yeah, we're saving that ship. So, what will it be, Major? So much shit, it's not even funny. Granted. Will it be major? Okay. 
that's good. over on cartoons i'll be back just in a few seconds i gotta run go pee Alright, I'm back, and it's time to get high as balls. Imagine getting high as balls and watching these cartoons. This is amazing what they did with this game. I'm just, I, I, I'm very, very, very impressed. I can't be the only one that's been very impressed by this. It's like they give you all these options to choose from in terms of like where you want to branch out in terms of your skills and stuff. I like having that mass telekinesis where you could just like grab enemies like like lift them up in the air and then throw them right down. Fucking awesome. That's like aggressive as fuck. What the heck is he saying? <clears throat> this is fucking amazing. I just Jesus Christ. God, Ed, can we just talk about the fucking music that's used for some of these boss battles? Like, holy fuck. I mean, I know uh, Mick Gordon's a uh, pretty infamous name. Honestly, I haven't heard any of his stuff because I haven't played much of Doom, but I'm digging what this guy's done, you know, for the soundtrack and shit. Like, holy fuck. Like, industrial music certainly fits in perfectly with this type of tone, the game. Brava. Anywho. Okay, did I save? I'm always paranoid about that kind of shit. Alright, now there's gotta be a way... go. Mm, what do we got? What is this? Ooh, thermal scope for the KS-23. Okay. I believe that's my... Oh, this is cool. This is so cool. Oh, I'm 
so fascinated by this stuff. Okay, so that was the big, the big box we were looking for. Wonder how I can get down there. All right, so now a scope can be added to the KS23. Access granted. Okay, so I'm short of metal parts. Of course it has to be metal parts I'm short of in order to put that thermal scope on there. Ah, uh, no problem. We could search for that kind of shit. It's no, no problemo. I think we can leave here, unless if there's a... Is there a bottom floor? See, it looks like there's more shit over here. Aha! See, I knew there was gonna be some shit. Please select the desired procedure. I need one more, one more metal part. Can we get one more metal part, please? Saving data. Yes, now we should have enough for that scope. Please select the desired person. Oh, what am I missing now? Ah, I'm missing one more. What is that? Synthetic material? Microelectronics. Nah. One more. One more. God, all just to get a fucking thermal scope. Troubles I have to go through. Just, now we have to get the fuck out of here. Got some fat boy rockets too, just what I needed. Ho, oh, that was that would have been bad.
Oh, another one. Flash. Ooh, electric connect. Ooh. Yes, excellent. Barrel extension. Cool, cool, cool. Me likey. Guess I should have known there would have been more than one. Nothing else in here. We can leave. Microelectronics. Access granted. Oh, wait. I think I got some upgrades for my Kalash, maybe? I like to use that gun a lot. shit to that little shit. Oh, I'm gonna need some more. Oh. I guess I need more metal parts. Jesus Christ, yo. Fading data. Actually, I have access granted. Get out of here.
pretty sure I could leave here now. Back to the infirmary. Oh, can I not, uh, I not talk to this guy or what? That's weird. Autolysis starts approximately 7 to 10 minutes after death, followed by defecation in 3 to 5 minutes. Rigor mortis mm, sets in mm, 5 to, to 6 hours, then let me see, complete decomposition in about 5 years. Ugh, nasty. What? Why? Naked facts, pure numbers. What is nasty about science? What are you talking about? I am a scientist. I must spend every moment examining and cataloging nature's phenomena. Comrade, do you know many people capable of documenting the decomposition of their own body? What's the point? You can't even record your observations. What? Oh, shit. You have a point. Exactly, so asshole. You me. Please stay next to me over the entire period of decomposition and keep track of the progress. You will manage. It won't take long. Give or take 535 to 650 days in current conditions. Fine. I'll go get my notepad. Oh, cut off or cough. You made me lose my concentration. 
Let's start again. Some weird shit, man. Ooh, what we got here? The fraught path of science. Swab. Focus. Keep an eye on that incision. Okay, okay. Focus. Shit. Pressure on yeah. it. Now. The polymer wasn't absorbed by the tissue again, so it created a pathological cavity. There are nodules like this all over his body. What do those heartless animals want from people, huh? You may be right, comrades. But that is not your concern. Do your job. Of course it's not. Private, bring in the next one. Jesus yes, Christ. Comrade Colonel. The polymer needs to be absorbed. And if it's not, save whoever you can. And clean this place up. This Comrade House. A patient came in from Vavlov today. The guy and I were betting on whether or not the diagnostic folks would pick her. All the information about her is top secret. You're going to love it. A. Nailova, 20. Progressive degen degeneration of muscle tissue, difficulty breathing, coma. Furman, if you lose a bottle of booze on this one, I obviously won't be able to deny myself the pleasure of taking someone else on. Anyway, Nailova is a goner, and it's actually because of you. But don't be too hard on yourself. You do what you were signing up for. Jesus. Are you stupid or something, Furman? A person is dying. Get me the intake evaluation right away. Don't write me ex excited little notes about how you want to win a bet. You're a doctor, not a bookie. Damn you. Huh. <laughs> okay. See, this is why you don't let commies run things, you know? Alright, this guy. Oh, let's see. Was I down here? We're in a morgue. Oh, my. Ooh, what's this? Breaking and entering. I've got bad news for a man. Pavlov just sent us a message saying that you have a small tick. It also says that the Nailov case needs to be moved to the underground labs. Poor guy is their problem now. It's an important and unique case, and they say we aren't up to the task. We can note slowly slowed speech and mild dementia observed. Nothing found in the blood so far. I won't let those fuckers take my patience. How how about a little breaking and entering for him and you with me? Are you out of your mind, Grigory? Pavlov is a very scary, very secure facility. Everyone that goes there comes back in a black bag or it come back, comes back here and dies on the operating table. They already took A. Dayilova, and they're about to take V. Nayilov. We couldn't stop them even if we had the slightest hope of treating the poor bastards. Breaking into a heavy armed complex saved two lives. I'm in. Ooh, in the morgue. Anything else in here? Nope. Ooh, what's this? I think we found the entrance, yo. Right in the morgue. Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space? You mean they make moon rovers here, not Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will of course be required, but what then? What about after humans reach the Red Planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things, yes. In addition to breeding new species of animals suitable for Martian conditions, Soviet science is looking for ways to bolster man's ability to exist on Mars. So what, they're gonna give us gills so we can swim in gas oceans? Gas oceans are on Jupiter, Major. Mars features low temperatures and lethal hurricanes. But you're basically correct. 
The capabilities of your species have yet to be fully studied. So the latest medical breakthroughs, new life support systems, all came from here. Indeed, Comrade Major. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. And mm. now they're gone. Access granted.
incredible, Professor. Your calculations and solutions are so elegant and logical. You work on pathetic polymer adaptation with an amazing contribution to science. Thank you very much, but it was really a... Uh, I'm sorry, who are you? Ivan Vikov, junior lab assistant at the Pavlov Complex. I work in the archives, but my dream is to work under you. I'm a huge fan of your work. Well, your passion is commendable. Although it is, frankly, a little concerning. The polymers are a quickly evolving scientific field with amazing potential. But I'm afraid passion alone won't be enough to advance it. Let's talk again in a month or so and see what we can do. For now, uh, please excuse me. Science calls. A month? But I don't have a month. You'll hear about me, Professor. You can bet on it. Uh-oh.
Here. Uh oh. What have they been up to, yo? They're deleting shit. It be deleting shit. Ah, some shit happened. Oh, some major shit happened. They did not want anybody to know. They just, they just fucked right off. Fucked right the fuck off, motherfuckers. Gotta find a way in there. Alright. Down here. Find that. There we go. God damn, this soundtrack is glorious. to escape the experiments. I'm a doctor. I was the one doing the experiments. How dare they experiment on me? No. I know, right?
hell do I get in there? That's why I want to know. Oh, of course, one of these doors. Oh my. God damn fuck. Keep your distance. What will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? I should work on this too. Okay, I think I'm going to uh, wrap it up for now, take a break, and then eat, eat something. So I'll either be back with some more Atomic Heart, or I'll be back with some uh, Call of Duty. So until then, later, taters.